Cozy blankets. Mm. Sleepy. Sleepy. My name is Ilya. My name is Tyler. Together we make up coffee, a couple that loves to play board games. And we love especially bringing them to our family to introduce and play with. Mm -hmm. Especially during the holidays. And when they have blankets. <gasps> blankets cozy cozy. Because we love to be cozy. And beanbag chairs. Uh, they, my family doesn't have beanbag chairs. Well, guess who we're not visiting now? Your family doesn't have beanbag chairs either. I guess we're not seeing any family. Well, shucks. Maybe we'll get him a beanbag chair for Christmas. I don't know if my mom would like that. Fair. So today in our video, we thought we'd share 10 games that we're bringing home for the holidays. And why? In our Home for the Holidays special series episode, three, two, one. Pia pi kiao wa a a. Bringing home for the holidays. Bringing home for the holidays. All right. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Do you want to start or do you want me I to start? I would love to start. All right, take it away. So I'm theming all of these oh, a little bit. I'll, I'll try to keep up. So my first one is a game, you know, like there's a lot of people uh -huh. and there's a lot of family uh -huh. and you just want some, you know, one-on-one -on -one time. Uh -huh. So you're going to pull someone aside and be like, hey, oh. let's go play a game together. This one's really quick. It's really simple. There's only 18 cards and some tokens. And you know what that is? I know what it is because I'm staring at it. Winter. Oh. So Winter is a new game from Devere Games. And in this game, what you'll essentially do is thaw and dethaw. You'll place a bunch of snowflakes in and around, taking turns playing cards, starting to create different patterns. If you create four sets of snowflakes of, flakes your of your color, yeah. your snowflake, mm -hmm. you get to place your token. And then once all the cards have been played, you'll thaw the ice. And the way you'll do this is you'll basically move things around, take things off, and you want to be the last token standing. Mm -hmm. So it's a really nice puzzle game with cards that you can just play again and again and again. And each time you may discover clever plays, you may build strategy and start to outwit your opponent. It's a great game that you can share with so many people and I think that's why I'm gonna bring it. Oh, yay. Some one-on-one -on -one casual time, quality like time. Good pick. Thank you. My turn. What are you thinking? I would like to bring along a quantum trick-taking game. Oh, it's upside down. And the reason I want to bring this one along is because it is a nice, cool, refreshing take on a ever-classic mechanic of trick-taking. And I think that, uh, personally, I know my family will really enjoy this game. I think uh, the clever way of no suits, mm -hmm. but also suits, because Schrodinger's cat, it is not until it is, basically. Exactly. So this game is a very clever uh, trick-taking game that takes that um, theory uh, really into its own. Uh, mm -hmm. It doesn't overcomplicate it because, I mean, it does say quantum mechanics on the box, but it is not like that, I promise you. It That's is... what he'll say to the family. Yeah. yeah. It's, pr it's not as complicated as it looks. But it truly isn't because it's just a simple trick-taking game where you get to declare the suits yourself. You've got to be careful though, because if you declare a suit that you technically aren't supposed to right now, you lose the opportunity to play that suit from now on. Mm -hmm. And it gets really, really tricky because you want to try not to create a paradox because if you do, you lose and you don't want to lose because you'll lose points and that's no fun. So you want to make sure you get the right amount of tricks or any tricks mm -hmm. and don't cause a paradox. I like it. There's science nods to it. Mm -hmm. I approve. And that is Cat in the Box. So holidays are very grounded. You feel very on earth while you're <laughs> in the holiday spirit. So the game I'm bringing next is Wormholes. But that's in space. Exactly, because sometimes you want to dream. Sometimes you want to look out in the sky I have and wonder what's out there. That's cute. That's cute. So what better way to do that than in AEG's new game Wormholes? Uh -huh. Now in this game, you'll essentially be traveling through space and reaping the benefits of wormholes because you've pioneered, you're discovering the technology. So you're gonna have to make those routes and go visit some planets that are far away to set up the fast teleportation systems. Yes. But you'll also take advantage of your opponent's wormholes. Good and maybe they'll that. get some points, but in, in general, it's a good give and take. It's a nice traverse the map. It's also very different because the maps are laid out in such a unique way. You can go to any planet and picking up passengers and going through space, who doesn't want to do that? Yeah, it is very, very neat. It's like a, 
yeah, it's like a set collection, pick up and deliver, and I, exactly. I appreciate it. And that's wormholes. Wormholes. Next up on my list is a kind of classic, well, what I want to call classic. Ooh, okay. It's a take on a drawing game, okay. but you don't have to be talented, and we love that. <laughs> every, every family wants to play a drawing game, let's face it. So, this one, Doodle Dash. Mm -hmm. I think this one is so much fun. It has a high player count, which is a bonus when you're going over to the families for whatever mm -hmm. reasons it may be. Big families. Uh, exactly. And uh, it's just hilarious. If you're familiar with Just One, I don't even, I'm not even gonna say anything more besides pick it up if you like Just One. Uh, the best part about this game though is you do take that um, chance of uh, now drawing and then grabbing uh, the, the golden, golden rod. rod or the die that are in the center of the table depending on when you uh, finish. And you want to kind of balance between going fast but also presenting an appropriate picture for the guesser to be able to guess. Mm -hmm. uh, because you could lose out on some points and you don't want that. This is a high energy game. It's got a lot of laughs, a lot of giggles, and a lot of um, what the wow moments is what I'll call them. This one's really memorable. I, I, there's many memories in my head of just like, that's a roller coaster? Yeah, that's a tiger. <laughs> I, I love it. Who knows? Yep. It's it's so much fun. Would recommend. And that is a doodle dash. Okay, the next scene. Every family. I'm making a lot of bold statements here. Every Many family. families have a classic card game they'll pull out. They just want to play cards. That's true. And that is just the nature of some of the board game nights. So you're, it's an evening, you're stuffed full of food, and you just want to lay some cards down on the table. Mm -hmm. Well, what a better way to do that than Scout, Scout. from Oink Games. This game has been a game I think we carry around everywhere we go now. Uh -huh. It's so much fun. It's so It's always a mystery of who are you going to discover in the circus. Will it be Danielle, the juggler? We don't mm -hmm. know. But the really cool element of this game is this is a game where once you pick up the cards, the cards don't move. And you really have to try to navigate scouting and showing your tricks in order to manipulate your hands so you can play more. So you can attract more people to your circus. And make more money. And scout more individuals because you need to have the circus empire down. And you'll make the most money. Scout for the best. Money, show. money is good. Uh -huh. yeah. So generally, it's such a fun little card game. The box is also very cute. It's an easy game anyone can really bring along. But we love bringing it to our families because it's just been a game, really game that they've really enjoyed as well. Yeah, it's been a surprising, uh, surprising hit at our surprising house. Surprising hint. So that's Oink for the holidays with Scout. I like big boxes, so I'm going with bigger boxes. Oh, but you're scaling up? No. Oh, maybe. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, no. So last year, I think one of my holiday bring bring to family games mm -hmm. was definitely Calico. This year, it just makes sense for its predecessor to join the party. Mm -hmm. So I've included Cascadia in my list. Now that it's also the game of the year, it just seems fitting. Casually slotting that in there. Game of the year. Cascadia. The Steel Day Jars. Yes. So this game is... Uh, absolutely amazing, honestly. It's a tile drafter where you'll be building and placing tokens onto these hexagon shapes and creating these habitats that will score you a lot of points. There are a variety of different ways to score each specimen that is in this uh, game. Specimen. Specimen. Species. Because <laughs> there are like five, I believe. I think that's right. Mm -hmm. And then you'll score all of those differently. The best part about that is there is a variety of ways you can score each type of species. So the combinations can get a lot of fun. And kind of like Calico is it's a very much, uh, it's kind of a grind at the end, trying to look for what you want so you can get the most points. But also like this balancing act of playing things properly so that that you can later on succeed to the f fullest. To the fullest. To the fullest. Do we live in Cascadia? Uh, we live in nearby the Cascadia. I feel like Ridge. we're pretty close. I think. I think we. We live, might be there. No, we live on the outskirts of the Cascadia Ridge. I believe. How ridiculous. Anyways, a node to the nearby mountains, I guess, and to Calico because that's a game that I really enjoyed introducing to my family. So why not bring this one? Let's do it, Cascadia. Now, 
every family <laughs> loves. Just every kidding. family. Every, but you know what? Traffic. No one likes it. But if you could create some good traffic, maybe, just maybe, you could have a good time. So today we're going to talk about Get On Board, where you're going to build the best bus route to take people around the city of either New York or London. Mm -hmm. Now this is technically a roll and write, flip and write. Flip and write. But there's components in the game that's layered up a little bit more, mm -hmm. but you'll essentially be working through the city of New York or London, uh, taking your little bus throughout, picking up people, dropping off people, and trying to score the most points. What's really fun about this game is just how inviting it is. First of all, look at the cover. Beautiful. Second of all, there's objectives in this game that are just fun. You know what you want to do. It's pretty easy to grasp. And I think that's why I want to bring it to my family because of even all the thematic little twists, like the cards you flip have little ticket stubs on them. Yeah, I love There's that part. There's little routes that you're planning. You don't want to go through traffic because that's not good. So you just learn a lot on your bus, bus route through the two different cities. Mm -hmm. I feel like as inviting as this game is too, it can get a little chaotic with mm -hmm. the family too, so that always provides some fun to it. Some not, not, not bad chaos, but good chaos. And we always appreciate some good chaos. Exactly. So get on board. New York and London is one I'll be bringing to the fam jam. Hooray. I think I've been like sticking with games that I know my family liked previously, but we're just going for a different Level vibe. Up. So this one, is right down that vein. Uh, and well, uh, why not bring Azul Queen's Garden? Just bring that to my family too. We should because your sister loves My Azul. family loves Azul. Yeah, true. True. My mom true. kicked her butt. Mm -hmm. We can bring them to both. Exactly. Anyways, uh, Azul Queen's Garden is just um, a sequel. Mm -hmm. essentially, to uh, the, the amazing Azul games that are already out there. Mm -hmm. This is the fourth one? Fourth one? Yep. Yeah. So it's got very similar vibes. You're basically building yourself a garden and you want to put um, like uh, colors together and like symbols together because you want to be able to score yourself um, as many points as possible through this unique set collection and combination of tile placement because it can get a little tricky sometimes based on some of the rules that are popping up around you. This game is another grindy game where I feel like you've got to think and plan ahead and hope for the best for the tiles that do come out. And you can also start to build your board up larger and larger to help yourself and expand, giving you more opportunities to play more tiles. I think my mom would love this because she's definitely the type of person who she takes it all in in the first game and then she crushes it in the second yes. game. So uh, this game is exactly that and it's just a lot of fun. Yeah. So that would be the next game I would be bringing Ooh. to the family. Sounds like a fun time with the family. Woo woo! Okay, why don't you do one more? Because I think my last one's just gonna take the cake. I doubt that, but I'll do it anyways, I guess. It kind of fits, actually, okay. because Azul Queen's Garden was the last one, and we'll talk about this kind of, well, actually, this is like a, a older game, an yeah. older game and classic game that I think um, we recently just picked up, but I know for a fact that uh, my family would enjoy this. It's really easy to play, it's easy to teach, and it goes pretty quickly, and this is a Phil Walker Harding game called Baron Park. Bears. Beats. Battlestar Galactica, especially Battlestar Galactica in this game. Well, there's no Battlestar Galactica in this game. That's true, but there are bears. There are a lot of bears in this game, and this is essentially a tile placement game where you're going to be grabbing specific tiles, uh, taking specific actions based on things that you may cover up, uh, and essentially just getting more and more tiles for yourself. You want to try and complete the goals that are in the middle while also trying to fill your board up, scoring yourself a bunch of these points through a various different means, but really staying focused on those tile placements. Uh, again, it's super simple, super easy to teach. I think the flow of this game really uh, shines, and for that reason, my family uh, would absolutely love it. I think one of the most approachable mechanics is when you take something, you cover it, and you get more. Because it just, it makes a lot of happy things just, happen in the brain. And it makes a lot of sense. Send some dopamine in there, and it's just like, yes, I can do so much now. This is amazing. And who doesn't love beautiful bears? 
I was beets. Gonna say, I, was, I was gonna say beautiful cuddly bears, but I would would not recommend cuddling bears. There's also pandas in here, and they usually fall out of trees. Oh, poor pandas. Poor pandas. All right. Break my boots, or whatever you want to call it. What? You said you're gonna stomp the floor with me with this next game. I didn't say that at all. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I said this game's gonna take the cake. Oh, okay. So, we all know that time during the holidays where it's the middle of the day. You maybe had some plans, and then you're like, you know what? No, let's just stay home. Let's not go anywhere. Cozy, cozy. Cozy, midday. Uh, you don't really know what day of the week it is. And all of a sudden, one family member is like, hey, What's this board game scene all about? You know what? Throw it at me. See what happens. <laughs> Check and, me off the deep end. You know, they're feeling ambitious. They want to, <laughs> they've played the Calicos, they've played the Catan, they've played the Cascadias of the world, and now they want to experience a little bit oomph of the board game. I think so, I you, know where this is you going. You know what game I'm going to bring to the holidays? Just in case that moment may happen. Oh, Weather machine. Do I know how to play yet? No. Have I read the rule book? No. Do I know that it's an absolutely beautiful game from Vital Lacerda, whose games we really enjoy? Yes. So maybe this game will come out and we'll say, you know what, let's go through the rule book together. Let's learn this, set this up. You can feel all the beautiful tiles. We got the metal gears that you can, they can play with. True. So, but don't get too distracted because you need to learn how to play we the need game. To, yeah. And then by the end of the game, are we going to know what's happening for the first time? Maybe. Hopefully. Hopefully. Will we grasp some of the strategy? We absolutely will. And collectively, we'll share an experience of our eight-hour play of Weather Machine during the holiday season. Experience is the right word here. Mm -hmm. So that's the last game I'm bringing. All right. Maybe it does take the cake because I've been dying to play that game. And yeah. We just have to not fall into the trap where we're like, we have to play Weather Machine. And Hi. then everyone's eyes just glaze over and then it's just not successful. My, my mom will not want to play that one. We can ask her. But we can try. Wendy, if you're watching, do you want to play Weather Machine? Play Weather Machine! Well, that's the 10 games we're bringing home for the holidays. Have we made the right decision? Do you want to play any of these games with us? Are there games that you're planning on bringing to your family that we did not include on this list? Are there that's, classics that you always bring to the family? We want to know. That's our question of the day. You can answer any of those. Bo holiday tradition with board games. What games are you bringing this year? What games would you never bring to your family? Exactly. Bad story? Bad experience? Tell us about it. We'll keep it in the comments and we'll share a laugh together. Yeah, because that's always a good time. Yeah. One time we taught my mom Azul. We crushed her. She said, we're playing again and I'm going to win. And what did she do? Won. She crushed By us. By a lot. By like 30 points. By a lot. Wasn't even close. Yeah. Yeah. Felt bad. Did <laughs> Well, thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. You know what to do. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you're new here because we make board game content on the weekly basis. And happy holidays. Yes. Hopefully you enjoy it just as much as we are or even more. More than us. Yeah. But I hope you get to relax, hope you get to have some downtime, and hope you get to get some games in. And spend some time with uh, your loved ones. Playing Weather Machine. Exactly. Maybe not that. But we'll see you in the next one. Bye!